So I reached a thousand subscribers. What? Thank you guys so much. Even though I usually don't ask people to subscribe or anything, it still means a lot to me that people like watching my videos. Sometimes when other YouTubers get a thousand or another milestone of subscribers, they do like a giveaway or a question and answer, but instead of doing something like that, I want to give shout outs to some of my favorite booktubers who don't have a thousand subscribers and totally deserve them. The first one that I want to mention is An Awkward Reader. She has under a hundred subscribers and some really great videos. She has a really great taste in books and in book covers too. So definitely go check out her channel. The next one is Books for a Dreaming Teen. She is totally great, really bubbly, active, just has a really great energy, and her videos are just really fun to watch. The next one is James Holt Co. He reads a lot of really great books and has a really great way of getting his point across and not rambling on too long. So his videos are usually pretty short, but he really gets to the point and makes sure that what he wants to say gets across. The next one is KCRXRD. She's one of the first booktubers that I started watching when I made this channel, and she does a lot of book movie comparisons. She also has a huge bookshelf tour, so you should definitely go check out her channel. The next one is Rincey Reads. I have mentioned her on this channel before. She and I got started around the same time, and for a while we always had around the same number of subscribers too, but Recently, she hasn't been getting as many as me, and I think that's totally wrong because she has awesome videos. She makes videos more often than me, and then she has really great book reviews and a really high quality to her videos, too. Another one is the Virtual Bookshelves. She has about 300 subscribers right now and just makes really great videos, again, like everyone else I'm mentioning. She does book reviews, tags, book discussions and always has something thoughtful to add. The last YouTuber that I want to mention is not a booktuber, but he is pretty new and he has under 200 subscribers, but the quality of his videos makes me feel like he should have a hundred thousand or a million or more subscribers. Like, they're really that great, so you absolutely have to go check him out. His channel is Mr. Jarls, and it's absolutely amazing. I will put links down below so you don't have to figure out how to spell all of these usernames. And I hope you like their channels, because I definitely do. For everyone that is new and hasn't been around for a while, I will remind you that I do have a Goodreads account, and my username there is also Hey Hey Books. And I have a Tumblr, which is Hey Hey Amanda, and a Twitter, which is Hey Hey Amanda 18. So feel free to follow me there if you want to. Also, I want to mention that someone also named Amanda recently added me on Goodreads, and I accidentally deleted the request when I meant to accept it. But I did add an Amanda as a friend on there since then, but I don't remember if it's the same one, so. If you thought you were friends with me on Goodreads and your name is Amanda but you're not friends with me, re-add me because I will add you back. So on to the update portion of the video. I do have some news. Last week I was hired for a job and it's actually at the same place that I've been interning at for over a year so I'm pretty happy because I really like the place and I think I'm gonna really like my job too. But I'm also going to be a bit busier, at least until the end of the year, because in addition to that, I also have a paid internship going on. So there are not many times when I can film, but I am going to try to keep a video a week going, even if I have to film a few in one day. Also, you have probably noticed that my bookshelves have been rearranged. I have been increasingly growing out of room, so I decided to start stacking my books. Everything is relatively in the same place. The categories for each shelf is basically the same. 
So now this shelf right here is almost empty, so I have tons of room for new books. So that is a plus. And now on to the book haul. My mom and I went to a thrift store again, so I had to check out the book section again, and I bought some books again. The first one is A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, and I'm really excited for this find because I've been wanting to read this for a while. The next one is this hardback copy of The Thirteenth Tale. And this is also a book I've been wanting to read for a while. I've been meaning to read some more books that are about books, and I've heard really great things about this one. And I know a lot of you really love it, so I'm glad to have this one. The next one I picked up because it's Halloween, and that is Interview with the Vampire. I have seen the movie and thought it was pretty great. So I'm hoping to finish Mrs. Dalloway soon so that I can start on this one in time for the holiday. I made sure to look through the classics shelves because that's something that I easily skip when I'm there. So one thing I picked up is A Little Princess. This is another one like A Secret Garden that I have watched the movie many times and absolutely loved as a kid, so I'm definitely looking forward to this book, which is written by the same author. I also got Madame Bovary, which I think I heard is being turned into a movie, and this has been on my to-reads list basically since high school, so this is definitely one that I needed to get. And the last one to expand my Sherlock collection is The Return of Sherlock Holmes. This is another one of the bind-ups of some of his short stories. This is, I think, the third volume. I still need to get a couple other volumes of short stories and all of his novels. At the thrift store, they did have a couple of other bind-ups, but they didn't have any of the novels or any of the separate editions of short stories. They had combinations of ones that I already own, so I didn't end up buying those ones. So that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!